So, yeah, do you have something else, this, Jonathan? Yes, I have one more question. Uh, yeah. In the book, or um, when when you're taking the prospect through the straight line from yeah. a one to a ten, yeah, is there is there a possibility to like kind of like um, not to guess at which level you are, but to um, like how many objections does a ten normally need until they get from a zero to ten or something like this? You know, like. <laughs> Perfect question. Mate. This is amazing. It's really good. Exactly. So it's not about you know the the amount of objections which I suggested to do is like like four, but this is you will not you will not get. Oh, there is someone else wanting to to, to come. Like is this um, Maxine? Uh, request re request to join. Okay. Oh, okay. We have Maxine joining. So there is. Thanks, Maxine. Sorry, uh, did I keep you waiting? Uh, he's not in. And uh, he will come now. Okay. So anyway, so I said this the, the rule about four objections to to be, but this is not the the thing which you are asking about. You are to, to talking about when do I know that the prospect is ready to buy? So first of all, there are two things which you have to be to to be aware of. The first of all is the uh, uh, indicators of interest, IOI, and it's a part of active listening, which means when he's asking questions about the price, about technical topics, like can you do, for example, a SAML, SAML, um, can you configure SAML? Do you work with SAML? Do you work with FS? FX logic. Um, uh, can I can I drive the? Do our the, your system also work with? Uh, um, do your system work also with um, with Xen server? Uh, can I publish uh, to? Um, can I publish from on an on-prem environment? So if this is happening once, you have you have an IOI. If this is happening more than once, he is asking two or three. He already bought. This is the end. You have, you can close. You can yes. make the appointment. So this is one. The second thing is, and this is the, this is why I'm really so grateful for this question. You ask this, this what uh, Jordan Belfort is suggesting. Do you you finish your statement, your presentation, or you know, like your discovery call, and then, based on what we have discussed, this uh, you know this seems to be a perfect solution for you. Uh, so let me ask you, how do you, how does it sound to, for you? Do you like the idea? This is important that you ask, do you like the idea? So you say, <clears throat> how does it sound for you? Do you like the idea? So you suggest a bit like, so he, was fo he will be focusing on the positive aspects of your presentation. Yeah. So instead of saying like, what are you, so give me your thoughts about it. Something is open. Don't do it because if you do this, he will, and he has objections a lot. Instantly, they will pop up in her mind, it's specifically when he's like a high action threshold uh, guy. He will say what he doesn't like, what he's like afraid of. What did you like about the idea? And then he will say, I like this, I like that, and I like that. And how enthusiastic he will come across. How this will be in his tonality, and this is actually what he's saying, in his tonality, how many uh, arguments ho of how many points of how, he, how much he does like it, he will bring it to you. So this is, will be, you will see on his scale, you know, like, I don't know, like this kind of, so sounds quite interesting, but not that we, you know, need this kind of thing right now, you know, like it could be, it could be useful for our uh, clients, uh, for for our um, employees, um, but actually we are quite good with the VPN we are using right now. So what scale is this, Jonathan? I'm asking you, which kind, of, which point, where I would be on the scale between zero to ten? When I you would, you would do, uh, you would do objection handling. You would go back. You would loop it again if you like. And that's my it. question. My question is on a scale from zero to ten. What was the answer I gave you? Uh, what, what did you say? The, you you were saying that uh, you like the idea of VPN, yes? No, no. Then you have to listen to what I say. So I I will. Uh, this is an interactive action. No, everyone is asked to give me an, a point uh, from zero to ten. Let's say Jonathan gave a presentation to me, and uh, I'm now uh, re responding to it. So. Jonathan, you will ask now, this is a role play, how does it sound for you? How do you like the idea? Just ask me this. How do you like the idea? 
How does it sound Two. to you? How, how do you how, first, how does it sound for you? Then how do you like the idea? Double okay. benefits, yes. Yeah. So tell, ask me one more time. Damien, how does it sound to you? Do you like the idea? Oh, you know, man, sounds interesting. You know, like it looks like you would be able to do everything what you do with Citrix and on on with a lower price. So yeah, but you know, it's not that compelling. Actually, we have a working environment and Citrix is running well. Uh, it would be also a big uh, change for us to, to do it like right now. We have many projects running. So I don't know, it, it's worth look, looking at, but I think it's not for right now. So on a scale from zero to 10, where, I, where was I? Seven or six, I would say. Barak? I would say, I don't know, maybe a four or five, just because there's uh, interest, but yeah. yeah. Giuseppe, also four or five? Yeah, exactly. Four I to think five. I would say I would say five, and you never, never try to close a prospect when he's below a seven. So from your feeling, like I, I give you another example, Jonathan, ask me another the same question again. How do you like? Uh, well, uh, how, what was it? Double benefit? How does it sound, uh, does it sound you? to you? Do you like the idea? Mm -hmm. This is the this is the double question. The double benefit is something different. It's the the double question technique is to ask two questions to pull more because if you are like uh, one, he's still not, uh, you know, getting to the point that he thinks about it. Okay, so okay, let me think about a possible qu answer. Look, um, thanks for your time. I don't think it's for us in the moment. You know, like uh, we are working with Citrix like for 10, 14 years. I have here uh, in IT administrators who know the system from the peak. You know, if I let them work on something new right now, we would destroy something which is working perfectly fine for us. And uh, uh, to be honest, I haven't heard about the complaints you mentioned uh, from other customers about Citrix licenses. I really want something. I all work only with a reliable solution. I, have, I haven't even heard ab about what uh, your guys. So where I would be? Zero or one. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, ma maximum, yeah. maximum a three. That the, the maximum, like if if at all, like one, two, yeah, that's it. So you you have then to loop again, yeah, to get to him to the presentation again uh, until he was uh, finished. So this is the art of looping. So this you never try to close. Okay, uh, let me give you the third example, final example. Ask me one more time. <laughs> How does it sound to you? How do you like the idea? Does Can it I sound give compelling? You... I, I I give you an, an, an answer which I get from prospects when I when I'm on the call. It's actually I really like it. I really like it. I uh, I I've seen that that you can the art of how you do, publish the 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 uh, applications is really simple. I think I could really benefit from it. I'm not an IT administrator, you know. Um, or I think it's definitely worth worth trying. Uh, yeah, no, you know, I can't say anything right now, but you know, like uh, when we try it in real life, then this will be something, uh, you know, of course it's worth looking, uh, looking into. So you have my vote. So what's that? <laughs> it's a 10. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's an eight. It's an eight because he's still not, you know, like compelled to buy, but he wants to try it, you know. So I, and this is how you decide. And this is this this two sent two questions help you to to find out on which scale he is after you have give, given him a statement or short pitch on presentation to find out if he's ready to go. You know, did it answer your question? Yes, but. W w we are looking at the scale a little bit differently from the BDR perspective and from the account manager perspective, mm -hmm. I think, no, because we are making the meetings, we are not selling it. So, for example, when you gave me the first one, I said seven to six, six to seven because he was interested and uh, it sounded like he would want to have the meeting, but still he would be on a yeah. lower scale to buy the product. Yes, I agree but, with Jonathan 100%. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. to make the meeting, 